she was just amazing. But there is one man in this world who's absolutely crazy about my legs. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> so I told Fang I was going to have my face lifted. He said, who'd steal it? <laughs> Such a thrill for me, all these men whistling and screaming. Yeah, yeah they've been in the jungle too long. <laughs> I was the world's ugliest baby. When I was born, the doctor slapped everybody. <laughs> the best contraceptive for old people is nudity. <laughs> how about she that hair? She will be missed. Wow. Yeah, how about that hair? How about Phyllis Diller has died. The legendary comedian was at her home in L.A. surrounded by family when she passed away. She had fallen recently and her health had been on decline ever since. Diller rose to fame in the 50s and 60s, performing alongside talents like Bob Hope and Sammy Davis Jr. She also appeared as a regular on the old Hollywood Squares game show. Diller was 95 years old. Phyllis Diller died today at her home in Los Angeles. She was 95. For decades, just the mention of her name could make you laugh, as the image of her outrageous appearance popped into your head. Then came the one-liners. Here's Bill Whitaker. For Phyllis Diller, comedy was not pretty. I am in the 14th year of a 10-day beauty plan. It was sarcastic, self-deprecating, and funny. I do dinner in three phases, serve the food, clear the table, bury the dead. Phyllis Ada Driver was born in 1917. She was a housewife and a mother until her then husband, who I was unemployed, so now, forced her in her up. late 30s to become a comedian to support the family. Someone had to make a living. Turned out it had to be me. I have a theory that to make a comic, you have to have suffer some kind of a, a, an abandonment or loss or lack in childhood. Yeah, I was raised on fear uh, all my life. She was a hit doing stand-up in clubs around the San Francisco Bay Area. Then, discovered by Bob Hope, Diller started doing TV with early appearances on Groucho Marx's You Bet Your Life and the game show What's My Line. Soon, she was on TV and in nightclubs everywhere. I was actually the world's ugliest baby. When I was born, the doctor slapped Everybody. <laughs> That's my real laugh, and I often laugh. And I, if everybody laughed that way, uh, they'd be healthier. Phyllis Diller did a few movies with Bob Hope, but mainly stuck to what she knew best, the non-stop one-liners. I'm in such bad shape, I wear prescription underwear. Phyllis Diller paved the way for countless female comedians and always had the last laugh. <laughs> Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Hollywood. And finally, she was a mother of five and a homemaker until she was in her 40s. Then Phyllis Diller became a comedy superstar. Now Phyllis Diller is gone, but her hilarious style, complete with that trademark laugh, will live on. Here's a look back at her brilliant career. Legendary comedian Phyllis Diller is dead at age 95. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Like Considered a groundbreaker for female comedians everywhere, Diller began her remarkable career 60 years ago and was best known for her cackling laugh. <laughs> Diller explained how that laugh began. In the beginning, it was nerves. Nerves. Her self-deprecating style of humor won Diller millions of fans across America. I want to look 65 again, <laughs> like I did when I was 30. She survived a heart attack 12 years ago and had been in poor health recently after a fall that injured her wrist and her hip. She died at her Los Angeles home, surrounded by loved ones. A longtime talent agent said today, Phyllis was a true pioneer. She was the first lady of stand-up. She conquered all media, movies, TV, Broadway, nightclubs, and radio. She paved the way for everybody. Inside Edition was there for one of Diller's last public appearances, a tribute for Jerry Lewis last December. Her sense of humor was keen as ever as she told us what was special about Jerry. Talented, funny, and unpredictable. And right now he's late. <laughs>
Diller's friends and fellow comedians are reacting to the news. Joan Rivers said in a statement that Diller was the last of an era when a woman comic had to look funny to be funny. And Roseanne Barr said, quote, that laugh will be missed. We'll see you next time. Well, we leave you tonight with a look back at the life of legendary comedian Phyllis Diller. Diller really changed the business, paving the way for the female comedians of today. Huge, huge influence of mine. Jane Lynch, Joan Rivers, Kathy Griffin getting inspiration from her, the original queen of comedy, from her own primetime show. A wonder. Here we go. Okay. I <laughs> to a new generation of fans in a bug's life. That's our lot in life. It's not a lot, but it's our life. Surrounded by family, Diller died at her L.A. home today. She was 95, and she will be missed.